video, I'm going to be showing you some outfit inspo for pleated skirts. You guys really love the last time I did this and have been asking for an updated version that is specifically dress code friendly. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, I have a new styling video every Sunday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I also post daily on TikTok and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you haven't already, and let's get into it. For the first look, I'm wearing this little black pleated mini skirt, and then I have this lily silk, silk button-up shirt that I actually love so much. I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be more oversized and I'm obsessed with the fit. I really love the quality of it. Like I've never had a real silk shirt before and this is just like a game changer. It's so comfortable. I also love that the buttons are hidden and not just exposed. It has like a second little layer here that covers them. So I love that so much. I paired it with this little Yankees baseball cap and my white tights, my black chunky platform boots, and my black nylon purse. I love this outfit. I've been imagining this outfit in my mind for weeks now, and it's exactly everything I wanted and more. I actually unbuttoned it quite a bit so that it can scoop a little bit lower, and then I unbuttoned the bottom button and tucked it in on one side. I love this. I had actually never heard of Lily Silk before, but they sell a lot of silk products. They have silk pillowcases and all kinds of different things, and I love it. I definitely want another one in white now. I don't know, I just wanted to do black though because I feel like it's just more fall winter vibes. I've been loving black clothing and accessories lately, so this is a really on brand outfit for me. But yeah, I love this. It's so comfortable. It low key kind of feels like I'm wearing pajamas and oh, just so cute. I need to stop saying vibe. Every time I watch my videos back, I'm like, everything's a vibe. Like, why is everything a vibe? But I don't know what other word to use to explain that I like it. So I'm sorry if I say the word vibe too much. It's just like, you know, a mood. I don't know, but I love it. For this one, I actually thrifted this corduroy overshirt last year and just recently cut it to more of a shorter length but it's still pretty oversized, so I really like the way this looks better personally, just because when it's really long, it covers like the entire skirt and it's just too flowy overall, I feel, so it just looks weird. But this is perfect. This is like a nice little overshirt and it's still comfortable, it's not super tight. I rolled up my skirt a little bit, so if you see like a pouch here, that's that's what this is. It's, it's a little long for me, so I rolled it up to make it a little shorter, but I would honestly wear this with a crop top as well, but I know you guys want a dress code friendly version, so that's why I'm not wearing it as a crop top. Kind of look a little bit like a mime until you put the socks on, but it's okay. I love all the neutral colors together. This is like super sporty chic. Black pleated skirt, black turtleneck. It's like super fitted. So before I put this on, it kind of looks a little plain, but then once I layer on the different textures and colors, I would honestly probably recommend wearing a necklace with this outfit, just so you don't get lost in the sauce. See-through tights, they're not super see-through. If I had some, I probably would wear the mesh black tights with the little polka dots with this fit, because I feel like that would just be over the top cute. For this one, I wore a long sleeve white rimmed shirt, just like a plain white shirt and my oversized black leather jacket, kept on the black pleated skirt, and then I put on my white dress socks and my new balances, but you could also wear Oxfords if you wanted to make it a little bit more of a scholastic vibe. I feel like either of these shoes are super cute and can work with it, depending on if you're gonna be walking a lot, then obviously you might wanna wear tennis shoes, but if you are going somewhere just to kind of like hang out, then you might want to go with the Oxfords because I feel like this is such a classic, clean look. And the black Oxfords really just like tie it together in my opinion. But I'm also a sneaker girl and I feel you if you don't want to wear anything but sneakers and this look can also work with sneakers. It has a lot of neutral things that are probably already in your closet. So it'll be super easy for you guys to recreate. I know I said they're gonna be dress code friendly and I promise I tried, but I actually cut this shirt last night and I cut it way too short. So it was supposed to be worn 
like all this length. Like this is the length it should have been, but yeah. So I cut it really lopsided and then I wanted to wear it together with a tie, but I don't have a tie. So you can visualize what that would have looked like. I had to readjust, but I really love the look I came up with. And I'm sorry it's a crop top. I know we wanted dress code friendly, but this is the only one. The rest of them are dress code friendly. So this, you know, I had to put a little, a little croppy action in there. This one's probably my favorite. I love the color coordination. I have a little black bust here, tank top crop, this cropped white button up, and this little blue pleated skirt that's honestly way too big for me. So just ignore the little space on the back, but it's cute, right, in theory. You get where I'm trying to go with it. I put on my black chunky platform boots and my dress socks again, but this time I pulled up my socks so that you can see them over the boots. And this is critical, like this literally makes the outfit because it ties together the white overshirt and the socks and then the top and the boots. So there's also little black lines on the skirt and white lines, so this is such a symmetrical look. I'm obsessed. Like this just like satisfies all of my ADHD in the best way. That's basically it. So if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>